Hello, I wanted to do a quick video on the Stanley 24 litre air compressor. I didn't see much on it on the internet online, so I thought I'd give it a show and show what you get and what I think of it. Um, this is 24 litre air compressor, 240 volts from Screwfix. Um, it's the eight piece compressor set. I'll show you a few bits you get with it in a minute. But the actual air compressor itself, so like I said, it's 24 litres. Um, it goes up to 8 bar, it's just on the top here, um, slash 120 psi. So you see there on the old dial, um, once it gets up to 120 psi there, it cuts off. Um, or 8 bar, it's about the same, there's a little bit in it, difference. So it charges up to 120 psi, and that's all you get, the rest of it is just for show I should think um, yeah it's 24 litre I found that's a, been a um, a good size it works well it gives you plenty of air I mean, we use it for blowing um, dirt out of you know engine parts and stuff like that so it's it's worked well for what we want and also tyre inflation as well um, so you can get smaller ones than this and I just I was worried when I bought when we bought it um, that it wouldn't be big enough, and so the smaller ones be avoided. We got this bigger 24 litre one. See, it's quite, it's quite, it's not massive. It fits under this table here, where it's kept. Um, so the features of it is got the dial there, um, on and off switch. It's not plugged in at the moment. It takes a couple of minutes to charge up to 120 psi. Um, and it's very noisy, it's the only thing I can say um, about it. Um, so wear it here in protection or not if you don't want to. Um, so it has a dial on the side here. Um, this is, uh, it regulates how much pressure comes out of the end. Um, but it doesn't seem to be all that clued up. It's not got any markings on it to indicate numbers. So I'd um, I just have it on max and be careful and be wary. Um, so yeah, it takes a couple of minutes to charge up, and um, it also has a outlet valve at the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. That's to drain it out of water um, when it gets water in it, because of the compress compression causes water to build up. Um, so, and there's also a safety valve here that if it gets too much pressure in it, that will let, let it out so you don't blow up. Um, it comes with this coupling already in, but this part here I put on myself because um, it comes with this hose and the gun, which I'll show you all in a minute. But I just wanted to quickly show you this. This is a um, something I'll not together myself um, when you have a lot of compression a lot of pressure in it like 120 psi um, trying to change the tools with these couplers can be quite difficult and there's a lot of pressure behind on that coupling um, and trying to push them in it can be quite difficult so this is just basically a quarter inch ball valve and if you go down um, screw fits and get a couple of these couplings, um, female, male ends, um, you can do a bit of research and work out which ones you get, or I'll leave them in the description below. Um, but it just allows you basically to charge the pipe and it gives you a cutoff point so that you can empty out this tube and then without emptying the whole tank. So you can empty that, change the tool over, and then pressurise the tube on the tool again. So you can change it from the gun to a different tool. So um, I'd strongly recommend you do that. You cannot seem to buy this as an object on its own. So you need to buy the components and the ball valve, put it all together, some, some tape, um, some plumber's tape or some sort of sealant, and then plug it into the coupling here and um, and plug your line into that end. That's a female joint and that's a male joint. 
sample and this female joint's already put into the um, into the compressor itself. That's what you you get this brass component already there, and it was this I, I built myself. It's got a nice handle on the top as well. Um, it's got wheels and a rubber foot at the bottom to stop vibration. Um, another thing I don't like about it is it's got a, quite a short plug and cable, so you do need an extension if you want to run that anywhere in particular. Um, yeah, so apart from that, the compressor is a good purchase. Um, it comes with a set of tools and accessories, which I'll show you in a minute, but the compressor itself is really good. Um, but like I say, just I would recommend having one of these and watch the pressure gauge and the short cable. Okay, I'll just show you the um, accessories now. Okay, so when you get the um, the air compressor you, with screw fix, you have this is the twenty four piece, uh, the eight piece, sorry, um, set. So you get the compressor and eight piece accessory kit with it, all for around a hundred pounds. So it was worthwhile in terms of I mean, some of the accessories can be twenty pounds a piece. So just getting them in with the deal is quite good. So I'd recommend that as well. Um, it did come with some paperwork, uh, warranty stuff, and instruction manuals for both the compressor um, and the accessory kits. So as you can see, we get a few accessories here. And I'll just show you some of them now. So one of the big, a couple of the big ones that draw my eye anyway was um, one this air hose reel. Um, these can be. You know, not expensive, but it, they're not cheap as well. And once you start buying several pieces of these equipment, it soon adds up. So you get that. Um, so it's got like a female and a male to plug into the compressor, and then your tools go into there. Um, it reaches out further than you think, and it's it's definitely useful, and you do need it because you can't just stick a gun on the end of there and spray from the end. Um, the gun as well, um, simple but probably the most used. Just got that male coupling there, and just a trigger, and it just high pressure air out the end. Um, another one that we use quite a lot is the tyre inflator with the pressure gauge on it. So you just plug that into the end of your hose, and then you clip this onto the end of your bike tyre or your, your car tyre even. Oops. and um, pull the trigger and watch the gauge and um, it's got PSI and bar on it and just whatever your tyre says you go up to um, and this button releases pressure out of the tyre as well you press that and it'll take the pressure out so you go too high or you want to let out a bit that button does it and you'd be surprised how quickly the tyre can pump up with one of these compressors. It's ridiculously fast and you'll never go back to one of these 12 volt pump up ones again. Um, it's a lot easier. So I'd recommend that. Um, so really they're the, that's, that's the stuff we use the most. But um, it also comes with a series of paint guns. So you've got this, um, I don't even know, um, <laughs> that comes with this tank. I think this is like a pressurised type of system where it injects air into this tank and then pushes it out. So you get that. Um, we're in that room here. Um, yeah, and you also get this, which I believe is a gravity feed paint gun. But I haven't not much experience with air compressed painting and the like. It feels well built but it's um, a bit out of my experience. Um, so you do get these two if you're interested um, in that type of thing and I'm sure that these are worthwhile as well because these can run you know for not expen massively expensive but it's all money that adds up you've got to buy it all separately. Um, so yeah, um, 
I'll match try painting the fence with one of these sometime and I'll show you what I think of it then. But um, <laughs> apart from that, I just want to put this out here, what you get. And that, you know, it's good quality stuff. It's lasted us a while now and it should do it so it feel like it's a poor quality model. So, um, yeah, it's a good purchase and I'd recommend it and useful. You'd be surprised how much puffing and panting it, it stops. You don't have to use your lungs anymore as much. So, um, uh, you know, it's worthwhile and I hope you enjoy one and see you again soon. Thank you for watching.